three games in this series, I've decided that I'm staying with Tuka Rask for game four. Has he been great in this series? No, he has not. Has he been good in this series? Sure. He's been more good than bad, but he hasn't stood in his head. He hasn't stolen you a game. You know, a couple of the goals last night, the one on the power play that Matthews scored, not his fault. Now we know the stats. When the Bruins have been down two to one in a playoff series, they've never come back to win that series with Tuka Rask as their starting goaltender. But despite that stat, I will stay with him for one more game. But if they lose game four and go down three to one, I am unequivocally going with Yaroslav Halak. I don't care if the score is one nothing. I am going to Halak. I think in that situation, sometimes you just need a change. Just the way that the Red Sox parted ways with John Farrell, who was an accomplished manager here. The same way the Bruins parted ways with Chloe Julian, who was an accomplished head coach in Boston. It was just time. It was time for a different voice. It was time for a different look. If the Bruins go down three to one, I don't care what game five looks like. I am going to Yaroslav Halak and I am benching Tuka Rask. And that will be the end of Tuka Rask for this season. Because at that point, one of two things will happen. Either the Bruins will lose the series or the Bruins will come back from three to one and Yaroslav Halak is my goalie going forward. Tuka's had enough chances. I know it hasn't been totally his fault that they're down two to one and that's not exactly fair, but tough. Sometimes you just need a change of scenery. And if the Bruins go down three to one, it will be that time. Well, as you know, I'm not on Snapface and all that, so I don't really get those.